Hi, I'm Mackenzie Doyle. And I'm Megan Schott. And, you and you're watching, watching This Week in, in Mount Athletics. Athletics. Once again, I am sophomore Mackenzie Doyle. And I am sophomore Megan Schott. And we're here, members of the Mount St. Mary's cross country team, and your host for the week. We would like to welcome everyone to the fifth edition of This Week in Mount Athletics, presented by the Carriage House. If you have watched the show for at least a couple weeks, the show has featured siblings, but as you can see, there's no family resemblance for this week. It's a shame too, because I would love to have a sister instead of two older brothers. And if Mackenzie was my sister, then I wouldn't be the middle child. But the one thing we, we do have in common is that we both had relatives that attended the Mount. That's true. The Mount is about family and tradition, so maybe we should start the show with the Mount women's soccer team. That does sound like a good place to start. After the Mount women's soccer team played two games this weekend and celebrated its 20th anniversary of its first season, season over the weekend, here's Mackenzie with the details. The Mount women's soccer team picked up its first Northeast Conference win on Friday with a 2-1 victory against Fairleigh Dickinson. Sophomore Alicia Mirando scored twice in the first 27 minutes to lead the Mount to the victory. She scored in the sixth minute off helpers from senior Andrea Boisich and junior Jackie Corley and then scored the eventual game winner off an assist from junior Carrie Ann Maggetti. Freshman goalkeepers Rachel Boren and Vicki Kokoza combined for eight saves in the win. After the 20th anniversary celebration on Saturday, the Mount fell 5-0 to zero to Navy on Sunday. The members of the 20th anniversary team were honored at halftime. Our team, the Mount Cross Country team, was at the George Mason Invitational on Saturday. Here's Megan with the details. Senior Megan Kinsella continues to have a strong season after finishing 13th at George Mason Invitational on Saturday to lead the Mount to a fifth place standing at the event. My sophomore co-host, Mackenzie Doyle, finished 17th and I was 20th for the women. Sophomore Tommy Gruschow continues to be the lead runner for the men's team and finished 41st to pace the mount to the sixth place. Senior Chris Swisco was the squad's second fastest runner finishing in 51st place. Our team this year looks really strong and we've been really pumped for the upcoming NEC meet. We have Delaware coming up and we've been working hard preparing for the NEC meet that we're really excited for. The men's soccer team opened up Northeast East Conference play this weekend in Brooklyn. Here's Mackenzie with the details. The Mount lost 3-1 to to St. Francis, New York on Friday and 1-0 to to LIU Brooklyn on Sunday in the squad's first con conference weekend of the season. Sophomore Zonker Dennis scored his second tally of the season against the Terriers. It was the sophomore's 13th goal of his career to move into 10th place on the program's Division I goal list. The men's tennis team was in action at the Bucknell Invitational and here is Megan to serve you up on all the details. Seniors Matt Blake, Mike Solomon, and sophomores Patrick McGinley and Adam Salam each won two matches at the Bucknell Invitational over the weekend in Flight A singles. The Mount's women tennis team was also in action over the weekend at the George Mason Invitational. Here's Megan Schott with the update. Senior Kari Landini won at number four singles against George Mason and while senior Renee Dean was victorious at number three singles and sophomore Danielle Newigan won at f number four singles against Georgetown for the squad's three wins at the event. The Mount Women's Golf Team was at the ECAC Championships and here is Megan to tee you up the results. By the end of this year, freshman Marisol Doglioli may have rewritten the Mount Women's Golf record book. She finished 12th at the ECAC's championships to lead the squad to a ninth place standing. The freshman recorded her fourth round in the 70s in six rounds and notched the fifth best two round score in program history. Sophomore Kelsey Hayward was the squad's second best finisher in 33rd place. The Mounts women's swimming team opened up its seventh campaign in the program history and here's Mackenzie to help you dive into all the action. Okay. The 500 free relay team of sophomore Ann Thielen, freshman Caitlin Powell, sophomore Aaron Regan, and senior Kat Coppler placed the Mount with a third place standing at the Potomac Relays. The Mount also had one fourth place finish, three fifth place standings, and three sixth place finishers on Friday. 
And now it's time to announce the Mount Athlete of the Week, and we would like to congratulate Mount Sophomore women's soccer player Alicia Mirando for taking home the honor. As you heard earlier, Mirando scored both goals in the Mount's 2-1 win against Fairleigh Dickinson on Friday to give the squad its first conference win to the season. Students may be leaving for fall break on Friday, but that doesn't mean the sports teams will get much of a break. And we have plenty of events right here in Emmitsburg. Here are some athletes inviting you to stay around for their events this week. Hey Mount fans, this is senior Renee Dean from the Mount women's tennis team and I know that you might be studying for midterms or packing up for fall break, but the Mount women's tennis team will be in action on Thursday at the Mount St. Mary's tennis courts against Towson at 3 p.m. So if you need a study break or are tired of packing, come on down and show your support in our match against the Tigers. Hope to see you Thursday. Go Mount! Hey Mount fans, this is junior Jimmy Offer from the Mount men's soccer team. Before you make your way home this weekend for fall break, I hope to see you at Waldron Family Stadium on Friday to help the men's soccer team open up its Northeast Conference schedule against Bryant at 3 p.m. Last season, we had a lot of success in front of our home fans and could use your support on Friday against the Bulldogs to help us get the win for conference play. Hope to see you on Friday. Go Mount! Hey Mount fans, this is junior Carrie and McGettigan from the Mount women's soccer team. We know that we are playing late on Friday and that you might be looking for the early exit from the Mount. But the women's soccer team has provided some excitement under the lights at Waldron Family Stadium on Friday, and we hope that it continues against Robert Morris at 7 p.m. this Friday. It should be a great day of soccer, and we hope to have your support against the Colonials. Hope to see you Friday. Go Mount! Hey Mount fans, this is Taylor Place from the Mount men's tennis team. I'm sure that you're all inching to leave for fall break, but if you're in the area or decide to stay on the mountain, we would love to see you at the Mount St. Mary's tennis courts on Saturday when we battle the out at 11 a.m. We haven't had a home match since September 16th, and your next chance to see us will be October 21st, so we hope that you will stop by to see us against the Explorers. Hope to see you on Saturday. Go Mount! Hey Mount fans, I'm Mackenzie Buckwalter on Mount's women's soccer team. Sunday will mark our last home game until our final weekend here at Waldron Stadium. So on Sunday at 12 p.m., we play Sacred Heart. We realize fall break is coming up and you may have plans, but why not spend your last hurrah here at the Mount? at the Waldron Stadium. We have plenty of room, so come fill the seats. See you then, go Mount. Hey Mount fans, this is sophomore Brett Smoot from the Mount men's soccer team. We know that most of you will be heading away from the Mount this weekend, but if you were hanging around the area on Sunday and want to watch some real football instead of the American football, come on down to Waldron Family Stadium for our match against Fairleigh Dickinson at 3 p.m. It's going to be a great day of soccer and we hope to see you there as we take on the Knights. Hope to see you Sunday, go Mount. Along with all these events in Emmitsburg, the women's golf team will be at Rutgers Invitational and the men's golf team will be at the Binghamton Fall Invitational. Our team will be off until October 12th at the Blue and Gold Invitational. Top Plays is back and the Mount just released the top play of the month. Vote for the men's and women's soccer. Make sure you check it out at mountathletics.com and voting will end on October 12th. Remember that you can get all of your Mount Athletics news at mountathletics.com and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube by searching for Mount Athletics. You can also like us on Facebook by texting like Mount Athletics to 32665. And don't forget that the next time you are at the Waldron Family Stadium to enter our Twit Pick of the Day contest, all you have to do is take a picture of the action and tweet it at Mount Athletics. And if you chosen as the pick of the day, you can win a cool Mount Athletic prize. Don't delay and show your Mount pride today. Once again, I'm Mackenzie Doyle. And I'm Megan Schott. And, and this, this was this week's in Mount Athletics. Athletics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>